A raindrop's journey starts in the sky. But what happens when it hits the ground? In some cities, stormwater flows over streets and sidewalks, picking up oil, dirt, and trash as the water runs into storm drains. In cities with combined stormwater and wastewater sewers, the stormwater eventually mixes with wastewater as it flows to treatment plants where it's cleaned. However, during heavy rains, the combined flow of stormwater and wastewater put enormous pressure on our wastewater utilities. When the systems can't handle it, untreated sewage can overflow and end up spilling into rivers, lakes, and oceans. This is called combined sewer overflow. CSO can cause costly damage to infrastructure, long-term damage to the environment, and create major public health risks. But there is a solution to help cities manage large amounts of rainwater where it falls, preventing overflows. This is called green infrastructure. Green infrastructure is a variety of natural solutions to tackle urban environmental challenges. Rain gardens and bioswells capture runoff and filter it through plants and soil. Green roofs and vegetation and planter boxes absorb rainwater, reducing the amount of water that enters storm drains. Parks and permeable pavement let water seep back into the earth, which helps to recharge groundwater and prevent streets from flooding. While some cities have separate stormwater and wastewater systems, rather than a combined system, green infrastructure benefits cities with either kind of system by providing a natural method for filtering contaminants, reducing the amount of stormwater that enters water bodies, and preventing overflows and flooding. Along with non-water-related benefits like improving air quality, reducing the city's heat index, and more. With green infrastructure, cities can work with nature to manage rainwater, ensuring cleaner water and greater resilience to storms. For more water and wastewater educational content, subscribe.